Let his neighbors know, let the media know, so that if someone steps out of line, throws a baseball through someone's window, that everybody knows that that's not in line with what we stand for. Oh on that, that point, there was also talk in the Guys, group. we're going to take stacks so after, right after this. So let's let the, let's let the groups finish, and then we're going to take stacks. Because we can't have a conversation about each one. So, so write down your thoughts, make sure you get them all together so we can take stack afterwards. I think my group talked about... Um, we all voted and reached consensus on adding um, the ordinances that Jam proposed. Um, those need to be added to the letter, we felt. We also, um, some of us were kind of indifferent, but uh, a few of us felt that the language of the letter needed to be changed. Um, and, correct me if I'm wrong, needed to um, sound less hostile and uh, focus on working with Mayor Joe. Um, so, I mean, I had pretty much consensus on a number of points. The first is that we do want to include our, the note about our attempts to do this the normal way, like trying to be like, hey, can, this is something we want to do as a free speech protest. Can we work this out? We went through all those channels. <coughs> we want to list them so everyone knows that we went through those channels because local media sucks. Um, to that we should occupy, we agreed that we should occupy, um, that it has to be, again, positive for the neighborhood. We have to have strict codes on noise in the camps and only people who are willing to subscribe to you know, a noise policy while they're there. Everything positive for the neighborhood in general. Um, that uh, we think the public might respond badly to ultimatum language. Um, we think that we should just say, hey, we're doing this. We tried to do it the other way, but we kind of... Uh, yeah, I'll bring it. Uh, we try to do this the other way. Um, we'd be glad to leave, uh, and we firmly insist, firmly insist was the language that was proposed, uh, that, these that these resolutions be overturned. There was, um, there was a number of things, really. Uh, we wanted a separation of Occupy Richmond from free press so that there's no confusion about um, we want to s we're accepting this invitation from an individual. We are not endorsing this paper. Most people here haven't even read more than maybe two copies. And um, we have no control over it. We don't get to vote on it. We have nothing to do with it. Um, so the last thing is um, that uh, 
I can't find my where my last thing was, so I'm going to do that. <coughs> Okay, our group um, sort of piggyback on it and suggested that we do some research about Mr. Boone and the free press to make sure, as Alex said, we want to hitch our horse to this wagon um, quickly, quickly research. We have a lot of people in here. Um, we could do that quickly. The other thing would be to potentially um, just downgrade the language a little bit and say, rather than making it come off as a demand so much as a just letting you know that if we um, don't have somewhere else to go, we're going to be in your backyard. Um, just a suggestion. It was a suggestion. It wasn't a consensus. It was a suggestion. Um, what else? Uh, it was offered as a suggestion, perhaps, that instead of saying, we will be in your backyard if you don't meet these demands, <clears throat> Excuse me, because I think we all know that Mayor Jones knows that this offer has been made through the free press. We can simply allude that there are other avenues available to us in which we could <laughs> occupy, which I think would also perhaps take away the concerns about extortion. Um, and it, it makes it a little bit more gentle, a little bit less heavy-handed. We're simply saying, hey, meet these demands that we're making regarding the ordinances, or we have other avenues that have been made publicly available to us that we could occupy. Um, I was in that group also. Um, one other thing was uh, due to the nature of the location and its difference from other locations, we need to up our game if we go there. Because while it's good to be next to the mayor, if we mess up, it's very easy for him to see. Okay. Um, uh, the last thing that he forgot, I was in his group, was that we need to make it very clear that this is not about to having the right to camp out in parks, that future demands and grievances will be addressed with our government, um, just so he doesn't know, just so our government doesn't think that we just want to camp out and, and complain, that future things and future requests of our government and grievances will happen. Okay. Should, should we um, take stack? Or does a, a member from media want to want to comment on whether all of this can be maybe taken in? Because it seems to be a lot of the same concerns in each group, which is nice. Because that means we can get consensus really quickly. Um, who who who's originally wrote the letter? Josh, did you? Bobby. A few of us. Yeah. It was like a group of six people. Okay. Um, the same six who were invited. And media is. And media it, at a, at a separate GA, uh, it was consensus upon that media will, we're going to have some trust in media and not all editing needs to go through GA. So I'd like to hear from a member of media and those that are going to write the letter on what they've heard from the group that really needs to be put in. And if all of this can be put in, that would be great because I think we can do that, actually. Can I get a tip check? We have a point of process right process. here. Um, I thought that there was a uh, concern as far as time. Yes. yes. So running this like through the yeah, media yeah. and everything, I mean, wouldn't that take a long time? I we're trying to get okay. this out. Okay. Let, let, let me hours. ask this: Who feels comfortable with media um, with media taking these demands in and and doing this? We already Would it maybe be appropriate um, if members from media meet with anyone who is very, very interested in helping construct this language, like right now when we bust this out in a smaller group instead of hashing it out, you know, a smaller group of people who are very, very, very invested in the language of this information, anyone who wants, who wants to be a part of that, do that now. Can we, can we take an official vote that we agree yes. we want to do it? Yes. Can we? Can we do that? Okay, let's take an official vote on that we agree that we want this letter to sit down, that we agree that we want to camp based on the insisting of some of these. We have a mayday. What's your mayday? I have a concern about the ongoing rushing of certain decisions. Uh, while you might be uh, have the best intentions of getting people involved, they might not be available due to the short time constraints. 
Who might not know that? People that want to be involved. In that Another process. maiden. I want to be involved all the time. I work. I go to school, and I give as much time as I possibly can. Uh, we can't all always be involved when we want to. Number one. Number two. We are not. We have been two or three steps behind since the beginning. Come on, Alex. Because we don't trust our work group. Come on, Alex. <coughs> um, our work groups. Jeez. Work in groups because there are a number of people who are really invested in being here and making this work. Right. Come on, Alex. Um, we need to be able to trust them to do these things. Otherwise, we're going to constantly be two or three steps Step behind. behind. Right. You makes a very good point, but we do need to be able to trust them. And that's, that is something that we've, we've also had a little bit of a problem with. Okay, let's, let's take a practice and trust right now and do exactly what was proposed. Have those people meet. Have those people meet. The ones that really want to hash this out. The ones, uh, maybe even the representatives from each group to make sure that th that group has every single demand. See if they can't hash out a letter really quickly because I have trust that they can hash it out really quickly. So let's see. Guys, can we give you like 15 minutes? Is that okay? And then bring it back to GA? Yep. Bobby? Okay, Who's, who, who wants a little more background info on Mr. Boone real quick? Because I, sure. I have a nice little article in Style Weekly that I can read out real quick. Okay. Um, he was actually considered the 37th most powerful person in Virginia, according to Style Weekly. Take that as you will. Um, it says here, a crusading old school newsman, uh, Boone mostly eschews the internet in favor of his bully pulpit, the Richmond Free Press right. Weekly Print Edition. Behind the scenes and in print, editor Boone remains someone who city politicians and U.S. Senate candidates, such as George Allen, would be wise not to cross. Boone also has stepped up his criticism of Mayor Dwight Jones, number one, in the last year. Most recently, the Free Press has been a key voice in the city jail debate, stepping in to scrutinize the minority record of a contractor selected to build it. Now, he is also a well-renowned civil, uh, civil rights activist, works with the NAACP constantly. Um, if you want any champion. other information, a champion civil rights activist, absolutely. So, any other information, come see me if you need more. Can I, um, maybe the group can meet in the back so they can really think about it. There's a lot of room back there. Anybody that wants to go hash it out and make sure that the representative from each uh, working group, that we, the small groups that we just did, go and, and make sure that those demands are, those concerns are met by, by the letter writing. We're going to get 15 minutes. In the meantime, is there anybody that has any um, informal proposals first and then formal proposals while they're doing that? Because we have 15 minutes to discuss other stuff.